All right. Welcome to another edition of the Final Percent Podcast. I've got O Nasty and Nasty Sallow. So they're the people who picked those names. I did not pick those names. I would never say something like that on a podcast. But this is what they have requested to to be called. And, you know, I want to I want to honor that. Um, <laughs> How's the focus looking? Uh, we liking it? I have no idea. It's on auto. Well, you, if I'm blurry, even better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. They, <laughs> our, they, as long as our faces are blurred out, we're good. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll add some voice changers. <laughs> Yo, on we're voice speaking. Changers yeah. on it. There we go. <laughs> um, okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that we did today. Um, we set up a six hour meeting, which uh, then I got, I got hijacked by Bob Snyder for like two hours. Yeah. Um, it's okay though. We, we love Bob. He's yeah, hard to have him for two hours. It's an okay. It's an, we're okay with that. If anyone's gonna hijack me, it needs to be that guy. So yeah. I, I, it was actually he and Jay. Love you more, Jay. Yeah, I love this. you more, Bob. If you watch this, as love well. you more, Jay. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and so uh, I just wanted to. We were talking a little bit about the podcast, and what I realized is, why don't we number one introduce some of the BTS people that actually help this crazy thing called final percent run in any capacity because I can't do it without these guys. So um, we're, we're really launching into what's happening in 2024. We're trying to put some stakes in the ground. We've got stuff with the events. We've overhauled project 33. Um, we're coming out with some books. We've got courses. We've got the itinerary for events. Um, and the list goes on. Um, talking about the Infinity Club, we're overhauling the Infinity Club. Um, and just trying to figure this thing out because, you know, we've thrown a lot of stuff at the wall. Some of it's stuck. Some, some of it's stuck. Some of it's just sticky. Um, <laughs> um, but I just thought it would be kind of fun. And just so you know, they didn't know what was happening. I was like, hey, Sally, you sit here. Hey, Owen, you sit here. And then I pressed record and I started talking uh, about it being a podcast. And so now we're here. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about from your perspective, because, you know, you guys are both 22 and you got this crazy 38 year old that you, you work with. And we've already been to, you know, many different countries. We've affected a ton of lives and we're building something special. But perspective is so interesting for me. And I think that this um this podcast just for you because he he did ask me before we went on this he's like if you could just tell me what the podcast was about before you hand it to me it, it would make it go a little faster and go up faster so this one's going to be about perspective so <laughs> oh thanks man oh. <laughs> um but that's i think that it's really interesting because you can gain perspective from a multitude of you get different perspective based on your experiences you get different perspective because us planning for 2023 was way is is way different than us planning for 2024. And then if we had understood what was going to happen in 2023, we would have planned different. So hindsight's always 2020, all those things. But also, you know, I've got this vision and different things that I want to get accomplished. But from a 22 year old mind, I would love to hear more about your perspective and you know, some of your favorite things, some challenging things, things that you that get you excited, different things that um, you've gotten to create your favorite, you know, TFP moment in 2023, whatever it is. Who wants to go first on this one? You go on. I think Salo does. OK, cool. Salo, go ahead. <laughs> Let's see. Faye, I'm going to need you to rehash what you want me to say. OK, uh, perspective. Right. No. I, I, I'm going to nail a uh, favorite moment. Okay. TFP moment. And then we'll keep it rolling. Yep, yep. Got it. All right. <laughs> uh, so I think this is a hard one though. Cause there's a lot of moments. Yeah. Uh, I th would want to say I really enjoyed the Wyoming retreat. Cause the one from, from there. Yep. <laughs> Grew up there. Yep. Uh, so going back there, doing the Jeep ride, the shooting, uh, just kind of all encompass of, what and you know getting rained in and a little bit of snow randomly in july in july yeah <laughs> also showing was, everyone what 
what Wyoming weather is. Yeah, what Wyoming weather is. And <laughs> and I think uh it's uh it's it's fun making a bunch of Canadians shoot guns. Yep. <laughs> that was real entertaining. For all my Canadian friends out there, uh you're welcome. So Merck. <laughs> Merck. <laughs> trying to play basketball. Dri- yeah, try to, <laughs> dr- driving into Centennial and then being like, "Where's the basketball hoop?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. So trying to play basketball with Craig and and then getting just annihilated by hail, like yeah. a bad hail. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen in Wyoming. We I keep lost my aura ring during that. Did you? Yeah, because I took it off when we put in basketball and we put it by all of our stuff, and then that. You know, it took 20 seconds for all the wind and the rain and the hail and the clouds yeah. and all of it to come in. Like, you yeah. didn't know if you were there. Yeah. Uh, and we picked up all our stuff. And, and it ran. was painful. It, like, it, hers, it was like it hail hurt. that was painful. Um, yeah. And I just. Oh, I, hail, I, no. I never picked up my ring or I didn't <laughs> see it. And then it just. And bye bye. Okay, I cool. Ring. I got mud inside of Silas' Jeep. Okay. And he yeah. immediately walked up and went, You got mud <laughs> in my Jeep? I was like, yeah. You also ripped off his fender. I did also rip off his fender. He's going to do a good thing. I gave him props for getting him out of my jeep. He then looked at me and went, yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> he did rip my fender off. Though. I did. Less proud so, of that. So less since, proud of that. <laughs> so since we have less proud of the fender. Yes. So so since we're, we're we're doing it this way, why don't you, what was your favorite one? And then I'll go with my favorite one. We'll just do a few of these round robins. Then talk about what we're doing and then we'll be good. But this is just, you know, talking about this is BTS of of TFP. Oh man. I gotta go with our road trip to nationals for Renatus. I was gonna say which one. <laughs> oh yeah, we've, we've been on the road. Um when we did uh Hot Tub Time Machine. Oh Rollins. Rollins. Oh Rollins. that was yeah. in the middle of nowhere. And we were we were up to like what? One of Did the you morning? go work out with us too? Yeah. 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 And only one person didn't go work out. Only one person didn't go work out. True. We won't talk about that. <laughs> I hit the 110s. You hit the 110s? He did hit the one. I in the middle of Rollins. <laughs> I, hit, I hit the 125s. We don't need to hear it. Hey, well, they, but, they've seen that. But but here's the thing. I, I did it, and then it got a little heavy. <laughs> and then I threw one on a weight and broke the machine. <laughs> Turns out if you throw 125 pounds, it's heavy. Yeah, you uh, The machine doesn't appreciate it. So yeah, that was good. Uh, Explain hot tub time machine for people though, because I don't think everybody understands what we mean by that. That was my first session of hot tub time machine, mm-hmm. um, and it's basically talking. Doesn't matter what about. Yeah. In a hot tub. And hot you tub get time machine. And you get as as it doesn't matter what you're talking about. You try to get as philosophical as possible. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We, we, we went here. there. We go here to talk <laughs> we about life, the universe, and everything. Yeah, and 42. We found out 42. For all those, for all those people that, uh, for all those people that uh, say don't talk about religion and politics, uh, they were absolutely on the table. Yeah. So yeah, there everything's on the table. We talk about all of it. Um, my. Okay, so I, I'll, I, I'm gonna need you guys to help with my favorite Uh-oh. moment. Um, Anything involving me? That's true. Oh, I, I, I love there you go. Um, <laughs> what year did we go to Costa Rica? Was that last year? That was last year. Okay, okay cool. All right. Cancun so, this year. Cancun. Cancun is definitely not my favorite moment. No. The fleas. The fleas. That was the best Dude, time. I still I have, have marks. The fleas. <laughs> the best part. I still I have marks on my legs from the sand fleas. They really liked you. Yeah, they really liked me. I think I still have them in my body. Um, hey, at least you're never. Yeah, I'm never alone. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> um, I think my favorite moment this year. Ooh, goodness. Actually, I know exactly what my favorite moment is. My favorite moment actually happened when. I watched Steven, Fire's husband, really spark his entrepreneurial spirit up. He joined us in Renatus, drove from, yeah. where are they, Wisconsin? Wisconsin? They drove from Wisconsin to Denver, <coughs> came to the regional, um, 
and watching him kind of awaken and he's such a great person great dad uh incredible husband but he's he's been in that the the default life mode for too long and watching him like click on and also realize that he's not alone and has family like that was pretty special to see um seeing him get excited in it at the denver regional and then watching him uh i i got to talk with him in uh chicago and he started out super grumpy because you guys know what it's like everyone's trying to talk to me and stuff and i didn't have a whole lot of time with him and uh he was he was grumpy and then we got to to talk and i got to watch him like and now he's just crushing it and so that like watching the moments and i think people don't realize like it's again just because things are available to you doesn't mean they're automatic mm -hmm. and watching renatus and the community and his family and belief be available and then him start to take the action and belief um I think that they, you know, it's 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 my podcast show, so I can pick more than one. Um, I think I think the other thing is the watching you guys grow. Um, it's it's really interesting because, you know, and we'll save this story. We'll bring them back on because I think everyone needs to hear this story. Um, but uh, Owen definitely he 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 went to school with uh, <laughs> with Salo and and told him like how easy his life was. Um, <laughs> um, and now that Owen gets to experience it, he understands that that might not in fact be the case. Um, but I know like I'm hard, <laughs> I'm hard on you guys, but watching like how far you've come and like what we've accomplished as a team. Because, you know, we're we're a pretty lean, like the only person we're missing in this convo is Kayla. Um, but, you know, day in and day out, like we're kind of like the, sometimes it's the three musketeers. More often than not, it's more of the three amigos. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I get, Steve Martin. I'll be Steve Martin. Uh, you're Chevy Chase. You're definitely Martin Short, yep. for sure. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm glad we're in agreement. But we we have so much fun, and and watching like your guys's light bulbs kind of come on is has been has been pretty fun, and and then watching the things that you'll try now versus things you wouldn't touch with a foot ten foot pole, like like saying, hey, I can tackle that commercial, or I can shoot that, or I can get that done, or you know, even if I don't know how I'm going to go figure it out and like having that, like your tenacity and belief in yourself has been really fun to watch both of you guys. The fact that you guys are working together makes me feel so happy. Just want to throw, throw that out there. It's all, fake. It's it's all, all fake. fake. I doubt, I, I see it. There's a little We do shift. it for the gram. <laughs> we do it for the gram. Um, Literally. The videos go on Instagram. Can't tell you how often I'm like, hey Sal, can I get your opinion on this? And he's like, no. Okay, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Um, but from okay, so let's just talk a little bit about the the perspective of being 22 into a company that's like all about like the final percent finishing stuff. Your culture or your your generation is not known for that. I, right now, let's be honest. None Humanity is not known for that. Um, but being a part of something where there's a level of professionalism and a level of maturity that, you know, usually that kind of responsibility doesn't get put on 22 year olds. You know, what, what is, what is that like from your perspective of, you know, moving forward, moving through, you know, things that you like, don't like, whatever it is. And we'll let Owen go first this time. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so I just went, yes. I'd have to say it's one of, if not the most challenging thing I have faced in my life. However, it is also the most rewarding thing um, because, you know, like I spend a lot of time, I have spent a lot of time around people that, especially in the freelance world, mm -hmm. your job is never done. Yeah. So there's no such thing as finishing. You set up a stage, yeah. you leave, you tear down the stage and you do it again the next day. Yeah. And, you know, or when I worked at grocery stores or for shops or anything, it's, it's 
the same thing every day. There's no finishing of a project. It's just putting another product on the shelf. Mm. Um, and so working in an environment where things don't necessarily, you know, like have to be done at a certain point of time, but need to get done at some point or another, mm -hmm. it's, it's a weird shift from, yeah, that's a good, that's really good perspective. There's like, and so it, it's, it's a challenging shift, but when I see the project come to fruition and all of the hard work eventually play out, mm -hmm. it is way more rewarding than any other type of work I've ever gotten to do. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's, I don't know if we should have let him go first. That's going to be tough. I'm, I'm going in a completely different direction. All right, all right. Rock and roll. Because uh, I, he had normal jobs growing up. Okay. I didn't. I've kind of like always worked with family. Like my first thing was uh, on my mom's side, my aunt's husband owns an excavation company. And like I do odd jobs for him and like help with welding or cutting or moving big things around and whatnot. Uh, and then it was very quickly to working with you or mentoring under you and then KMG and then photography and then you photography. Yeah. And then I was all of a sudden I'm like media director. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, and then the How freelance. Here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my beautiful house. <laughs> um, but it be totally crazy for sure. And definitely hard. Cause obviously, you know, growing up in our generation of that side of things, like not really finishing stuff, like start, do, start, do, start. It's like you never finish, and it's just kind of how it is. Uh, it's definitely a weird change, but that's not what I was going to mention. I just definitely wanted to, mm -hmm. like, I agree on that side of things so as much as I can. But the being 22 side of it in this environment with, like, the other professional people and, like, all the business owners or, like, the company owners or corporate people and, like, uh, I mean, I can call Sharon Lecter, my buddy. Like, I could text her right now. It's weird. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's and pretty she bad. would respond. Yeah. Guarantee it. Yeah. Um, but then going into talking to other 22-year-olds, like my friends in Laramie and then our friends in Denver and stuff, it's just such different mindsets. Yeah. And it's like wild and like sometimes almost impossible to – think on the same page or connect on certain ideas yeah. because of that difference. Like Nick, my best friend, love the dude, always will love the dude, just will like refuses to just get a credit card because he doesn't need it and he doesn't want it. And he doesn't, he's like, I'll get it when I need it. It's like, yeah, but when you need it, you're not going to be able to use it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good, how credit works. Good, yeah. luck. Good, good luck with your $300 like, limit. That's what he's saying. He's like, I'll, like, I'll, go, I'll get like a loan or like credit stuff like when I need to buy a house. I'm like, yeah, but you need credit score for that. And like, yeah. you're not going to have that if you don't like start. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. not a big deal. <laughs> and yeah. It's just like, okay. Yeah. Uh, so like that side of things yep. is definitely just like, uh, what's the word? Navigating yeah. those two worlds. Because obviously they're still my friends and our friends and yada 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 and that's not going to really change but we definitely you definitely have to navigate it properly like going from like professional mindset to just staying being professional but still being obviously I, now I'm, I'm i'm 22 i'm gonna hang out with you be a little dumb and yada 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 but you can't go over the top because you still have like an image yeah but this like i put quotes but it's very true yeah uh so yeah that's definitely it's fun but difficult. Yeah, that's see, and this is this is why I thought that this when we were sitting over there and you guys were kind of throwing ideas uh, at me and I actually really value your guys's insight probably far more than you realize. But I was just like, man, this would be an interesting. We were talking about a podcast. I'm like, this would be an interesting podcast because number one, a lot of people see like Greg and they're like, oh, like it's the guru model. And we literally make fun of the guru model all the time. Cause like, I'm not like, I'm always asking questions and figuring stuff out and reading and, and trying to make myself better than I was yesterday. And I get frustrated just like, you know, everybody else. And honestly, if I didn't have Kayla, if I didn't have you guys, like TFP really is the collection. And then it's kind of like, we're the immediate family. And then like the extended family is like, you know, the, the infinity club and then the extended, like the, the, the cousins are, are like, 
you know, the Facebook group or, you know, people who go to the events. And a lot of people are like, man, I want to be in that. I want to be in that circle. Like, how do I get in those conversations? Work your butt off. Like with, with literally zero expectation. Like, I just hope this works. I mean, Owen and I often, we, we make fun of the fact that there's like half the time where he'll work on something for like two or three weeks. And then we're like, well, that was great R and D. Like it was just research, <laughs> not a lot of development, lots of research, you know? And the reason I can identify that is how do you think I figured out all of my concepts? Like I've worked on so many concepts, like to put this into perspective, my first band name when I moved to Colorado was called the KMG Players. Yeah, great name, bro. Such a, like, how did anyone say, yeah, great, great idea. That's what you should call your, 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 your band name, you know? But it takes trying and you, you, you've got to be willing to fail, but you've also got to be willing to explore. And so many people are just looking for the math equation. It's just like, and that's why so like, I can't remember who I was talking to, but they were basically saying, what do I like, what am I trying to create? What this, what, 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 what? And it was all about the what. And I was like, I always search for the who, because if I have the who, then the what becomes really apparent. And because we've got different mastermind members or now the infinity club members sh show up, we have different people coming into our lives from say Bob Snyder to really working with Renatus. We've also fundamentally become different people. Our what has changed? Like you're talking to me. <laughs> I was okay. yeah. so so now so now so I remember this conversation. <laughs> so now so now like imagine like the infinity model. You know, it's been around for a little bit of like almost a year now. Mm -hmm. The, the thing is, is we didn't realize what we had. And now we thought it was just going to be a bolt on product. And now it's becoming like the ethos of the final percent because we didn't realize what we had until we really started speaking on it. And I started coaching people in it. And then we're like, maybe we should dive a little deeper. And that's the other thing is like, you know, from like design to like sizzle reels to like the shooting and the content and the recaps and you actually like having the the bandwidth to dive in on things that you love things that you love and then who we become together is different than our what changes and so i think that that's something that everybody you know listening needs to realize is the the who becomes or the what becomes super apparent when you have the right who if your what is really confusing then it's probably because you know you're going through something like what Sal was just saying is like, you know, I spend, how can I change a life? How can I develop this course? How can I go the final percent for this client? How can I be an entrepreneur? And then I try to explain that way of thinking to my other 22 year old friends who are, how can I get a beer? Who are like, <laughs> how can I get a beer? And they're speaking different languages. So the, what is so misaligned and that's one of the things like the more communication you have, like the better, the easier the what happens, the easier the what becomes a, a real destination instead of a wish. Um, so, you know, with that being said, closing comments from you, and then we'll do closing comments and closing comments. How do I have to start this one? How do you even start a closing comment? <laughs> How do you start a, how do you start the stopping comments? No, just like stuff about the final percent. You can talk about, you know, an event that you're looking forward to next year. You can talk about go do this right now, whatever it is, whatever's on your brain concerning TFP to anyone who listens to this. Mm. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm two events super excited for the cruise? Oh, yeah. How could you not be? Yeah. Like, that's going to be very entertaining. And the amount of content stuff we are going to sneak onto this boat and sneak off a of said boat, technically speaking. Yep. It's going to be pretty exciting. And we have a room that has a freaking grand piano in it, so we might accidentally record a couple songs. Yeah. We're going to see if we can take the drone off. Ooh. 
threw my idea for a little bit. I like just found that out. Uh, <laughs> um, and then the eclipse, because obviously speaking, yeah, spawned TFP. Yeah. Uh, I witnessed the totality just without you. Yeah. Um, so it'd be pretty cool to you know actually. I think mingle. everybody, everybody <laughs> who's who's in our world needs to come to that event. Yeah. Like it's gonna be in the middle of nowhere in Oklahoma. So like, grab a tent, grab your camper, whatever it is. But I promise you, it will be an event of a lifetime. Like it's gonna be, it'll be special. Yeah, I don't know that. Super excited for that one. All right, how about you? We're talking about what we're excited for, mm -hmm. just events or in it, general? It, literally anything that you just want to talk about. TFP, like you can say, hey, uh, I'm using this great platform to quit. Like whatever you want to do. <laughs> hey, please stop emailing me. This <laughs> is uh. <laughs> my two week notice. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Uh, for the record, I am not quitting. Um, <laughs> He's already quit. <laughs> <laughs> My last day, so you get uh, um, You know what I'm actually very excited for? Hmm. The Infinity Pillars books. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're doing the Infinity Pillars, which Spoiler are, alert. you know, personal, which is business, vitality, community, along with the book that ties them all together, um, coming out April 1st. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about those two. I think I it's I think I think it's the newest thing I've heard about in personal growth, and I think it's the greatest thing I've done in personal growth to date. So I think uh, that is that's going to be really exciting. Um, they're all going to release all together, so it's not going to be like one after another. Because I want you to get excited and go right into the next book and ha have them really start changing your lives. Um, what I'm excited about. Uh, it quite frankly is two things. Number one, um, the, the full team getting back together. I feel like for a while now we've done a really good job, but we've been kind of the 99%. And I think we can all agree that the final percent of my life and this family is Kayla having her come back in, in a major way. I'm so excited about like I think that she's in so many ways the secret sauce that really makes this family and and the business is special so having her come back in I'm really excited about and then honestly I think I other than the infinity model that I I, I invented and, and came out with I'm I just I love our supplements yeah um you know, it's, it's just something that since I've switched completely onto them, I feel better. I'm sleeping better. Um, so much so that I'm about to go live and, and I'm going to go, I'm going to announce, you know, little, if you went the final percent in this episode, you're going to get a little sneak peek. Um, but I'm actually going to take kind of a before picture. I'm, I'm just going to keep this going. I'm not going to shave. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm going to reveal, what I can do and by the first day of the cruise or maybe like the day before we get on the plane or something like that, we'll figure out the exact date. Um, but just taking our supplements, going all in on, on my fitness and doubling down on that to show people what's possible when you have the right support, you give yourself enough time and you have the discipline. And, you know, I talk about for a change to occur, you have to have enough time. You have to have the support and you have to have discipline. So many people buy the support, but they don't give enough time. They pay $30,000 for the coaching and then they call a week later and say, hey, where's my million dollars? Or they never buy support and they just give it time, but they were working on the wrong things. Or they bought it, they gave themselves all the time in the world, but they don't do the work. They aren't disciplined. And so the best thing that a leader can do is lead by example and you know, and that's one thing you can tell where you're at. If you ever think that this, this crew, if we say this is how much this camera costs, we're not doing that to try to impress you. We're trying to do that to express to you how much we believe in our craft that we'll buy the seven, ten, twenty thousand $20,000 equipment. And, and, you know, we're sitting in like, like that rack <laughs> is a hundred grand, 
Like we we do that not to impress you. It's to express to you how serious we take our craft. We do that to express to you what's possible. And the other thing is, is, you know, if you're going to take supplements, you're going to do the work, you're going to work out. You know, I want to express to you what's possible. I'm not working out to impress anybody who's listening to this. Like the only person I want to impress is my wife. The, the thing I want to do for you is I want to express to you why we made the supplements, express to you what's possible in your life, express to you that it is possible for you. And I want to give you the, the building blocks and the blueprint and the guide and the guidance to, to accomplish it for yourself. But you've got to be willing to do the work. And so we can, we can give you the support, but that's what we're here for. We're here for the support. If you don't give yourself the time and you're not disciplined, there's no support that's going to work for you. It's just not going to happen. So our supplements, and we're coming out with, I think, four or five new ones here soon. The Black Label products are coming out. Um, that's going to be incredibly cool. Um, and then uh, and then just having my wife back to, to really show people, again, what's possible in marriages, what's possible in business, and the courses that are, are coming out. I'm really excited. So um, I know you love talking. Anything else you want to? You're good. I love you more. Ah, I love you more. Love you more. <laughs> love you more, Craig. Love you more, Meredith. Love you more, Ali. Love you more, Dale. Love you more, Marla. I'm just gonna say I love you more. No, I'm I'm just, I'm literally just saying I love you more and pointing. That's valid. So I mean, I love you, you more. So it was ever behind the other side. Yeah. Yeah. We love you more. I yeah. yeah. I love you more. Owen loves you more. Sal loves you suck. more. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> That's that's the twenty two coming out right there. That's that language. Hey hey, uh, Alicia watches this. Yeah okay all right that's good. That, that's I'm good. meeting everybody at their level. <laughs> Ready? It's the final percent. And now we have the new, uh, the new intro ideas. exit. I love it. It's the final percent. <laughs> and now-